Hi, I'm Jean Paul. Let's go over this suit we just tailored uh, in my tailoring house. Eh? Look at that thing, I have changed my house. This is a corduroy suit, a bespoke, um, fully handmade uh, in chocolate brown. And it's quite intriguing. Why? Corduroy is a material everybody has an opinion about. You love it, you hate it, you might shift from the left to the right with it opinion. I remember when I was young, I had a guy in my class called Martijn and I effing hated that man, that corduroy. It was for me like, dude, why do you wear that? It's for grandfather. But the older you get, the more hair I have been losing, but the more I started to appreciate corduroy. So firstly, what is corduroy? Well, I hope you can see it with the camera. Corduroy is this ripped fabric. Ripped fabric here. These ribs are called whales and cords. You have them in several sizes. The higher the number is, the tougher the fabric gets, the bigger that whale is. Okay. Some people say corduroy derives from France, but that's actually not correct. They say coq du roi, you know. It's actually from Egypt. You can Google that. And it's quite interesting to see those histories. You start to understand a little bit more about the cosmopolitan background of fabrics and why it's so yeah, attractive to mostly cosmopolitan clients. If people ask me what is a bespoke client, I say somebody who can appreciate it, who's willing to afford it, can be a billionaire, can be who saved up for 10 years, but they've been around the block and they know a lot of people, you know, from around the block. So back to this suit, by the way, what kind of model is this? This is a notch lapel, rolling rappel here, hand stitch, thick stitching, of course, full floating canvas on the inside, it's ready for delivery, so that's closed up. It has two buttons, Four buttons on a row, one, two, three, four on the sleeve, handmade buttonholes. These are horn buttons. I believe these are from a deer actually. I have no idea. Sorry about that, Peter. We also have actually nowadays vegan buttons in that kind of stuff. You can use plastic buttons too. It's against the sartorial backgrounds and traditions, but they are more variation and they're stronger actually than horn buttons. What's so nice about this jacket, it's very understated. It's a corduroy one, so this plays a, a comfort. It's a little bit like that, uh, what's the chef's name? Otto Lenghi, you know, creating that comfort food, nutritious. Let's put this in. It's relaxed. So you can wear this to the office, an evening out, on top of denim, like I'm wearing right now, or as a complete suit. I'll get those trousers out in a bit. Good, what makes this suit special? Or special, what's a typical feature? creates a little bit of you know, fun in it. It's that additional ticket pocket here. Handmade suits, bespoke suits. You can always wear with the flap inside and outside, jetted. As you can see the finish is also totally different than nowadays brand suits or even suits from several. Oh, come on, gentlemen. You're losing that grip down there. So the lining is here in the flap. It's also on the inside and that just takes hours of extra work. And while my company is successful as well, happy customers because Maybe they don't even notice that or not even aware of this. That's why we make these videos so people can appreciate it. But it's just a better product. It looks better, you know? Okay. So two pockets here and one here. Where's this ticket pocket from? In the past, if you would go to the theater, you will catch a train, you know, Paddington Station, you see the little bear, you pass that by that you'll be in a zoo or in nature. Um, you could put your ticket there. That's the whole background, simple. Okay, the inside is also very nice. I hope you can see that with this camera we're using. This is a nice Bernberg Satine, actually from Hollata Sherry and Peebles. And what you can see, that's why I move it around. If you move it around, you see the secondary color popping up. So that's also a chocolate. It's like a mousse, what you see here. And I don't mean that kind of deer. Like a chocolate mousse. Very smooth, understated with the buttons. That's nice. Suit is made for a chap from Egypt, actually. Young man. A pair of trousers, you can wear with it, without it. Of course, that should fit. What I would like to explain here is mostly the side adjusters. Nice vintage feature. You know, if you lose some weight, you've been sitting down. Then it stretches a bit, you can make it a bit tighter. It's also a nice vintage uh, element. Backside, two pockets. I always prefer to make two pockets, not none or one. That's typical British, you know? I, I, I drive at the right, sir. you know, imperial system, use the metric, man, come on. Buttons here, wouldn't do that per se. Why? The moment you sit down, it starts to gape, stretch, and at a certain moment, it breaks through the buttonhole. It will take some years, but that is what's happening. 
So actually what you see here is a suit that you can wear together, separate parts. It's super, yeah, in the end, formal, super relaxed. You see the everything live, there's a client. Uh, this is the corduroy suit. If you have any questions about bespoke tailing fabrics or whatever, you know where to find us, theos.com. I wish you the best. Cheers.